Hi everyone, it's Dash of Dave here again. I'm back for another One Sheet Wonder. This time I've called it a One Sheet Wowzer because it's got so much capacity to it and it's uh, it's kind of my own kind of little take on a closure. So I hope you like it. Um, you could call it a, um, a back to front um, folio. Uh, because what looks like the front is the back and what looks like the back is the front so um, and or you could call it a hidden closure um, and there's lots of things I don't know what I'm going to say in the thumbnail but I'll show you what, what it is so this is something I've come up with I've prototyped it, I've worked on it um, the one that we're going to make today is a slight progression on from this because I didn't realise just how much you could get in it and it ended up being a bit of a chunky monkey. So, we're going to start at the back, which is unusual. So, I've just made a little bow to go over the front of here and then we just open it up. Okay, and you open it up like this and then what you do is you flip it over and then you open, hinge this up and then this means that you can then open this, this side. So, when we're making it, the one sheet will make you the frame for it so the the um the blank um that's not with all of these things inside and the tucks and the pockets and things but we'll go through that as we make it okay so then you open it up like this and then i'm just gonna have to flip it on its side because it's so big so then this opens like this and then it opens again like this and then again like this Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make it. It's very simple. You just need to follow a few uh, little uh, nuances for it. Okay, so then you fold it all back up again. Flip this bit over the top. Flip it round. Round. And then close it. And then all I did was I made a little bow with the, the excess. Because you don't get a lot of excess from it. But that's just a little bit of excess. So... I'll show you how to make that. So I'm going to use this piece of Tim Holtz paper. Um, it's just the kind of contact sheet, the smaller version of what you'd get in a, pa in a, a pad. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take it, take our scoreboard, and what we're going to do is we're going to lie it down with the. If you're right-handed, you want the top edge to be to the left. So top, this is the top edge of it. So if you've got an orientation to your paper, this is when it matters. If you don't, it doesn't matter. But the top is going to be on the left-hand side. Obviously, if you're um, left-handed, it'd be on the right-hand side. But I'm not, so I won't. So your first score line is going to be at um, a three-quarters of an inch. Okay, so you're going to score at three-quarters of an inch along that top edge. Okay. And then what you want is you want a score line at um, seven eighths of an inch. So that's just one eighth of an inch over from that first line. Yeah. And then you want a score line at six and a half inches. Just there. Okay. So that's our top to bottom measurements. Then we're going to flip it back so that you now you've got that top strip at the top. And now what you're going to do is you're going to score a line at three and seven eighths, four, and then you want eight and one eighth. There you go. I'm going to take those off. And then what we want to do is we want to put all of those lines in. So remember you've got a double line there. That forms a gusset at the top, which is just the evolution of this top bit. So you've got a bit more space to work with. Okay. Then you're going to fold this middle line. Let's just put all of these lines in with a nice bone folder. Do that with the same, same with the top edge okay and then that next line that's just a little bit one eighth of an inch over there we go that's our box fold there okay and you just flatten it back out again and now turn it around so that this top this this 
lapel mitt thing at the top is at the top and then what you're going to do is you're going to fold those gusseted lines in on the sides that side and pull it over just to get that next line you might just need to work that line in with your fingers just because it will want to keep folding on that first line that you put in there you go that's that next your box fold line okay open that back out again and then you're going to do the same again on this side just make sure it's all nice and square and then put your next line in so if I put the first line in and then I'm just going to push the other piece over so that it just starts to show itself Ooh, it's not going to do it it is doing it now there you go and then just gently press it with your finger first before you you'll then you'll know whether, the, whether you've got that line or not okay so now we've got those box folds in okay what we want to do is we want to cut, so this is the top, remember, this is the bit where you've got that small fold at the, at the top. From the bottom, you want to cut on the innermost um, score line. So let's get my scissors, should have started with that, so let's turn it over and hopefully you can see. So you've got two lines here, you want the innermost line and you want to cut on that one. up to that that first score line and then you're going to do the same again the innermost line all the way up to the top there you go that's that then what you want to do is you want to cut this whole panel off now so just on that middle score line just want to make sure that i've got that because i can't really see it there we go Cut that off, but keep it. Don't lose that because you're going to attach, reattach that in a minute. And then we're going to cut that off this side. Okay, and that's given the basis of your your box, but sorry, your your folio. But now what we want to do is we want to cut this piece. Now, on this side, let's just flip it over so that we've got this. So this is where our box fold is. Again, on the innermost line, you're going to cut up to this second score line. So, you're going to go in from here. You're going to cut all the way along here into that second score line just there. And then turn it round and again, do in from the second line. Make sure we can see that. from the second line all the way through that second score line there like that. then what you want to do is you want to cut that line off so the second the, now you're going to do the other score line all the way through to that second score line and then on this side as well gets a bit fiddly in fact I'm going to have to flip that over because I can't do it that way around It gets a bit fiddly, but it's worth it. Don't worry if you've made wiggly lines like I have here. It's all going to look absolutely beautiful. I can absolutely guarantee that. So there we go. Okay, so then what we've got is we've got this piece that folds up, this, this piece that folds around that, and this piece that folds around that. And this wraps around the top and around there, okay? And so then they line up, okay? So that's the base part of it. Now what we need to do is we just need to attach these pieces. So these two pieces that we've cut off, we're going to cut that second score line off again. It's not easy to see in this light. 
might be easier for you to see than, I, easy, than it is for me to see. Sometime you, sometimes you can have too much light. Okay, there we go. So cut those pieces off. So be a, should be a similar size. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to reattach these. Now you're going to reattach them. However, oh, let's just get rid of that bit. A bit of line there where I've missed the cutting the the fold off. So, however you want to reattach them, entirely up to you. You could use tape. You could use some um, old book page. You can use whatever you like. I'm going to use a piece of this because it's nice and easy in to hand. So this is just sticky brown paper. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear it. So we get a nice torn edge. And then we're going to find out how big we need it. So you will need to find something to attach it with. And that is the the crux of it. So you're just going to have to attach it yourself. Uh, I don't know how big it needs to be. Let's just measure that. Yeah, that's fine. That's not going to be too big. I think, thought it was going to be too big. I think I might ink this now while, I, while it's off the page. Just ink all of those bits there. We're going to put that up to there. Get it in the centre. And then stick it down. And then we're going to fold that over because that's already stuck. It shouldn't need any glue. So we're going to fold it over and make sure that it's fine like that. It is. Does it fold over? Yes, it does. So we just want to make sure that we have. So what you might find is it's just going to catch on that fold. You see how I fold it over and it's got a bit of a shape to it. What you can do is you can just take the very tip of that off. Okay, and then you're going to do the same again for attaching this piece. So this piece is attaching is going to attach to there. Well, it'd be good if you made a straight line that day. My cutting skills are not the best. Where is my oh, there it is? I'm much better at using a blade than I am with a pair of scissors. And then we're going to put that up to there. I'm going to attach that one. So again, what you might want to do is you want to check that when this folds in, that this folds in and is full short of that piece, and it doesn't. So we're going to cut the bottom edge of this off. And I, this time, so you did a sixteenth last time, I'm going to do an eighth of an inch this time. I'm going to put that up to there. I'm going to stick this down with another piece of this. Look how big we need it first. Smaller than that. straight line is it though I'm sure it'll hold it together though it'll be fine let's ink it a little all adds to the fun of it the shapes and the whatever you do make whatever you do to stick it together don't worry it will look gorgeous Put those, put that on there, and then that's going to fold into that, and then hopefully that folds into that without buckling. Oh no, it still needs a little bit off it. I'm just going to take the very bottom of this off, and that's all you just want to make sure you do is just take those little bits off so that they fold into each other. That folds into there, that folds into there folds into there 
that wraps around there, that wraps around there, that wraps around there, that turns it over, and you fold it over and you put it and you put it together like that. Now, what you also then want to do, sorry, let's just make sure that you've got oh mum. I didn't cut that to that second line on that bit there. I didn't cut that bit out, let me just do that, sorry folks. the little bit off there you go that's better that's stopping it from folding so put it all together and then what we're going to do is we're going to make the bit on the back so fold that round that round there and that round there and there you go that sits better now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a i'm going to use a velcro dot i'm going to use a whole velcro dot i know it's not like me using a whole velcro dot Get me, I must have won the lottery. I haven't, but must be feeling flush. So and because it's the the down is where I always think that that's the bit that you're gonna see the you know, you you don't see the one on the underside of something, but you see the one that's facing down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this middle line as being my middle. And if you don't don't have that middle line then just measure that and find the middle of it and then we're just going to pop that down on there okay and we're going to tear it apart and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this bit off either side of it so i'm going to cut to there and to there so those pieces will still now meet because you put the velcro dot on first and you know that they're going to meet they're confident about that and then what we're going to do with these is we're going to turn them into something. So I will use this piece as the top part of the bow. So I'm going to cut a piece slightly bigger than the other one. And I'm going to take my squeezers. Take that look off your face. I can see through your smile. I bet you couldn't wait. To bring all of that sadness to my door. Well, I've got news for you. I knew before. Yeah. So, <laughs> you can sing if you wish. You can sing your own song. You don't have to sing mine. It's fine. So, what I'm doing is I'm just wrapping that into a little bit of a tube. Okay. Like that. And you don't have to do this bit. This is just to make a little bit of a fancy bow thing with it. Okay, so you're going to make that into a little bit of a tube and then you're going to get really fiddly and you're going to glue that bit. Because you know me, I like to use every single piece of everything that I use where I can. Obviously these bits that I've cut off aren't quite so easy to use, but I'm just going to use the action of those squeezers to hold that together. And then I'm going to do the same with this one, but I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. This time, so, so I'm just going to roll that edge a little bit so it forms more of a box fold. And do the same on there, more of a box fold. Just want it to be a little bit wider than that one. So it meets at the back, which it does. glue those two pieces together this is quite fiddly so if you're not uh, you haven't got the dexterity to do it then just leave it you don't need to oops Dave don't drop it just trying to line it up a bit before I glue it down there we go opportunity to shape it. I'm just going to ink the very edges of that. So you can have white bits sticking out. And then I'm going to take this piece and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half like that because you're going to cover that the middle the crease in a minute with the other bits and I'm just going to take a, a very 
shallow V out of the end of it. And again, now we're going to open it up. I'm just going to ink around there. You can have more time make, doing this than I have. And then we're going to layer these up. So that piece is going to stick to the middle of there. up and then we're going to stick this piece to the middle of the other one well, hopefully not all oh, didn't ink that there you go got some dimension we're going to stick that on there Put a line of glue down the middle of it. I'll stick that in the middle. And that way then it also gives you a bit of an indication about where the the opening is. And that's it. So you've got a little I just need to be careful because it's still wet. It opens up like this. Like this. You flip it over, remember the, the front is the back. Flip it over, unlock it. And then open this up, and this up, and then it folds open with all of these things. And then you can put in what you like. You've got a nice gusset on there now. So I didn't make mine with a gusset. I made mine with just a flat line. But look how much there is in here. So let's just have a look and just see. So you have capacity for. I've got a pocket on the front of here. I've got a pocket on the inside. Got another pocket here. I've got a pull out little pad there that just hooks onto that. We've got this. This is just this just pops out. This is a loose piece of paper. I won't bob it out because it's a nightmare to get back in again, I'll be honest. So then it opens up like this. This has one of these little pull out spaces where you can oh I've just glued I've glued it in for some reason. There we go. Let's just Pull out like this, and then that just goes back in there, like so, and tucks back in. You can do, you can make whatever you like, so you don't have to do what I've done. That goes in there, and then we've got this. So we've got a pocket here. We've got a pocket here as well. I forgot to tell you about that. There's a pocket there. Can you watch? I'm not going to be able to get anything back in. Oh, I did. Pocket here. Okay. I'm really chuffed with the ephemera I made as well. We've got a little writing spot here that, again, could be a pocket. I, the only reason why I turned it into a writing spot is because we're running out of gusset, but now we've got cut, solved the gusset issue. We've got a pocket here. We've got a pocket here. Well, a, a tuck here. Page tuck. And then you can fold it all back up again, close it all up, and then all I did was, I mean, you could put a pocket on there as well, but all I did was I just put a little frame on it to make it a bit interesting, like that. So, and anyway, so I thought you might like that. I was very chuffed with it when I came up with it, so I was a bit, I was sat here thinking, I don't know what to do. Um... Brian keeps telling me off for saying I'm running out of one sheet wonder ideas because I never run out. <laughs> come, out come up with something else to to do. So I'm hoping you're still enjoying the one sheet wonders. Um, I'm hoping that this is something you might give a try of. Um, you know, if you do use it and you like it and you you know you you share it or whatever, let me know. Or, um, you know, just tag me in. If you want to tag me into anything, my um, my tag to use is just going to show you now. I'll try and remember to put it on screen, but I probably won't. So it's it's either hashtag dash of 
Dave, or if you want to use the at symbol and actually physically tag me, it's at dash of Dave one. I don't know why it's dash of Dave one because I can't find another channel called dash of Dave. Um, but yeah, so it's if you want to at me, it's at dash of Dave one. Okay, and that way then it'll come up in my mentions and I'll be able to find you and share your joy as well. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please give this a go. Uh, please let me know if you do. And I will see you all in the next video. So thanks very much for watching, folks. Um, don't forget, my name is Dash of Dave, and I love you all, without exception, until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, folks. Lots of love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of hugs. Arr, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.